Yes, the um, Congressman Vela and other members of the of the Hispanic Caucus, along with Julian Castro, former Secretary of Housing and Urban Development, he'll be he'll be joining the group. It's uh, Lucille Royval Allard. She's a ranking member of the Homeland Security Appropriations Committee. Uh, also, of course, Vicente Gonzalez, Congressman Vela, Julian Castro. Uh, and then also um, Crawley, Joe, Joseph Crawley, and uh, he's the Democratic Caucus Chairman. And they will be here on February the 20th, which is Monday, right, early, very early next week. Um, they'll be here at, uh, at 1 o'clock. And it's to visit not only with Lupe, it's to visit with the community of different nonprofits organization. They're going to visit with Lupe and with the uh, uh, Lupe, which is part of the Eco Voice Network and other organizations like Arise and Proyecto Juan Diego. All of us as nonprofits are involved in bringing um, community members to this gathering, right? What, what, uh, what, uh, Vela and the rest of the um, elected representatives that are coming is that they're very interested in hearing about about you know hearing the real stories on on um, on the effect not only on the effects of the executive orders but also about how how folks in the in the how folks in the valley in the border area. Are, are are responding or that how are they um, how are they feeling how are they dealing with um, with the different orders uh, from um, the different executive orders coming down from Washington and from Trump and so um, they, they, they want to hear the the real stories of families um, because because what we know is that Ryan and his folks are coming on Wednesday now, Ryan and his folks is is totally different approach to this. What they're here to do is to is to um, uh, view the border area uh, through helicopter, the border wall. Just talk about immigration, uh, about in immigration enforcement and security. What that means to us is what they want to do is in some way justify. Take back the stories of how dangerous our areas are, uh, how much security is is needed, how much more security is needed, and in some way be able to justify the 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 tremendous amount of money that Trump wants to spend on the border wall. They want to be able to go back and 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 um, and be able to say we went and we saw and we now know that you're right president trump we do need a border wall so they're, they're here for that very reason whereas is what we think that's their reason for coming here what we feel is that vela congressman vela who i think has been um uh, a real champion to this community he has stood up you know firm and strong against the border wall and against um the 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 fear that is being created in the community unneedlessly and and so what is here is i think that they will then go back and tell the real stories because they are the only ones that are here to listen to the community and not only listen to border patrol and ice as as ryan and his group are doing and so it's really important that 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 um that rep that Congressman Vela is bringing together the different nonprofit organizations to talk about the 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 issues that a border wall would create. So I take it from that you have not had an invitation from Speaker Ryan's office to meet with him. We haven't had an invitation. We don't expect one, but we will still be there. Uh, we 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 want to. We don't know where he's going. We know that he's going to be in a helicopter touring, because uh, that's what they do. Uh, that's what Border Patrol does. They, they also get on the river. They on also a boat. get on a river boat and do that. And so maybe we're trying to figure out. Okay, well, where are they going to be? And um, and where they are? Where are they? Where where are they gathering? 
right so that so that so that we can be there and even though we're not invited still be there as as a community to to let them know our feelings about the community's feelings about the the um, huge amounts of money they want to spend on the border wall and the and, and 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 what it's doing to this community but also to show them to be there to show them that that this community is strong and this community is 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 resisting this and that they will continue to in whatever ways this community can uh, defend themselves we will stand strong with that so they got to know that we're not just gonna um, fall on our knees and let them do whatever they want without hearing from the community I know you represent a community group and you represent low-income families and right. colonial residents but you obviously um, being a experienced leader in the community right. you know that this region relies so much on trade with Mexico would you also hope that Speaker Ryan not only meets with yourselves and other community groups, but that he'd all, he would also listen to the elected officials and the chambers of commerce Definitely. that are trying to say to Congress, to President Trump, please do not mess with right. our trading relations with Mexico because Absolutely. they're vital to this region. Absolutely. I think that... that um, a, a, a productive visit for those coming from Washington is looking at all the different sectors in the community. And of course, everybody knows the strong relationship that we have with Mexico and the and of course the 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 economy when when um, a few years ago when they when we were going through a very um, you know when the depression when the um, economy was doing so bad, People in the valley, businesses in the valley, were being kept above water by Mexican shoppers. And therefore, Mexico is critical to this area. And, and the way, and the way they, they have been offending um, our neighbors, which is Mexico, by what they're saying in Washington, right, feels, feels very, um, it, it's totally opposite from the realities that we face with our neighbors how helpful they are to this economy. So I think that Paul Ryan and his group are missing a huge opportunity, but not by not getting all of the story, all of the different stories about, about this region. And that's what is so, that's what is so, what is um, hurtful to this area when, when they just focus on the border wall and the security without looking at all of the positive contributions by our neighbor to the south. Juanita Valdez Cox, Executive yes. Director of Lupe, is there right. anything else you'd like to say? Just that we invite we invite the public, you know, the, the Equal Voice Network, all of our nonprofit organizations are extending an invitation to the community to be present here February the 20th, Monday at one o'clock. We would love to see the community come out and show support to Congressman Mela, Congressman Hinojosa, and the others that are joining them in this um, in this forum, where we can hear about the issues, the real issues the community is going through. And that event is here at the Lupe headquarters. The, that event is here at at Lupe um, on Monday the twentieth at one p.m. Thank you so much for Thank today's you. news. Thank you so much.